Lesson 7-2 talks about preparing a statement of owner's equity and a balance sheet, the other two statements that we are going to prepare this chapter. A financial statement that reports the changes in capital account for a proprietorship for a period of time is called a statement of owner's equity. It shows the user how the capital account has been affected by your net income or net loss and your owner's withdrawals. Preparing a statement of owner's equity, the account titles are obtained from the worksheet's account title column. So you'll use these amounts from your worksheet. The account balances are obtained from the worksheet's balance sheet column. So you'll use the balance from your balance sheet accounts. The heading of the owner's equity. The first part is, again, you are going to center the name of the company, center the name of the report, and center the date. And remember, it's representing a net income over a fiscal period of time or a net loss during the fiscal period of time. So therefore, you have to use four month ended on your sheet. The body of the owner's equity account, again, you have your heading up at the top. Then you are going to start with the first line, Michael Delgado Capital for January 1st. Remember that these two columns here are not debit and credit columns, but they are total and subtotal columns. So you're going to find the capital at the beginning of the fiscal period. You can see it says January 31st. You will write that total in your totals column. Then you will find your net income and again, that is at the bottom of your balance sheet. Remember, it is right down here on your balance sheet. Sorry, not on your balance sheet, but on your worksheet in your balance sheet column. So you'll use this amount right there, and you will plug it into this first column. Then you're going to take less the drawing account. So then you'll look back here, here is your drawing account, and this is the amount that's in the drawing, $1,150. Okay, you have a net income less your drawing, so you are going to subtract those two numbers. You will draw that single line right there, and then you will put the total right there. Okay, then you're in your totals column, and you're going to figure out what the ending capital is. So you take $2,000 plus you had a net income after your drawing of $2,012 and you will add those two together so you draw a single line the total goes there and once you are complete with this you will draw double ruling through both columns when a business has a net loss current capital capital is calculated so you take your balance minus your net loss, minus your drawing balance, and you'd come up with your current capital. So if you have a net loss, you would subtract both of those numbers. A balance sheet, on the other hand, is the third financial statement that we are going to prepare this chapter. It reports financial information on specific date, indicating the financial condition of a business. The financial condition also refers to as financial strength. If a business has adequate assets and few liabilities, it is financially strong. If a business is not strong, a business may eventually fail. So you want adequate assets and few liabilities, and you should be financially strong. A balance sheet, you could get all this information from the general ledger, but it's easier to analyze it if it's organized on a balance sheet. And that's why you're organizing it to make it a lot easier for people to look at. The sections of your balance sheet include the heading, just like every other sheet. Then you will notice that you have a left side and a right side. And you'll see that it is basically like our accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And that's how it's split up. Assets liabilities, owner's equity. 
So you have your heading and so forth. You could get all this information from the general ledger, but it's easier if it's organized on a balance sheet. And next we're going to complete the work together and I'll explain, ignore this part here. We're gonna complete the work together in your online book.